Coming up for all you food rangers out there, we're going deep into Varanasi's street food scene to discover some of the most unique and delicious street foods in all of India. Starting out with a beautiful boat ride along the world famous Ganges River. All right, check it out guys, it's Trevor James hanging out with my buddy Anubhav Sapra from Delhi Food Walks. Today we've made our way specifically to Varanasi to go on a big street food tour. Yeah, we are going to many street food places in Varanasi. It's just so beautiful here and we are up 6.30 in the morning for a morning boat ride on the Ganges. Yeah, overlooking the temple. Overlooking the temple. And this water is, is holy water, is it's that right? It's the holiest water in, in India. The, mostly for the Hindus, they come here, they take a dip to purify their body and soul. So it's purifying. And you can see the people behind us, they're, they're doing that right now. Yeah, they're bathing here, they're taking a dip. It feels like such a spiritual city here. Yeah. Awesome. Let's go check it Let's out. Go and yeah. Go. This is Varanasi, the holiest city in India. It's said here to be the best place to die in all of India, as the constant cycle of rebirth and suffering is ended if you're cremated here. This spirituality is everywhere, and the scenes that you can see in Varanasi bring you into a different world, as you're gonna see things that you've never seen before. All you have to do is go deep in the back lanes and you'll experience one of the most unique travel destinations in the world. And as a holy city, we went for a full-on vegetarian street food tour, eating a delicious five street foods deep in the alleys of Varanasi that you're not going to want to miss. So make sure to watch all the way into the end so you can enjoy them all with us. Let's eat. So beautiful here. Yeah, it's like a maze. It's like a maze, yeah. And what's up first? We are going to start with this first place and oh. we'll have a traditional uh, breakfast of Varanasi. Oh wow, look at this. That's so we're having some puri? Puri with sabji. The sabji. Yeah. And Uba brought us to a true breakfast gem in Varanasi. This joint had rich potato sabzi, aloo gobi cauliflower and potatoes, and potato stuffed kachuris, all wafting their aromas deep into the street and covered in a selection of different spiced chutneys. Aloo gobi. Aloo gobi. Yeah. Oh yeah. Potato and cauliflower, yeah. and then he's topping it with... Chickpeas. Looks yeah. great. Yeah. Thank Let's you. some jalebi as well. So jalebi banana. Jalebi. Awesome. So we got it all here for breakfast. The puris, oh yeah. And, and the puris are also stuffed. With the, lentils. Really? Yeah, so lentil stuffed puri. Dal. Lentils on the inside of these puris. And what I'm loving is how they put that chickpea on top of the aloo gobi. Aloo gobi sabzi. Great. Just break it from one corner. Oh, like and then, okay. Then you scoop it. You go right in. Oh, yeah. Mm. Is that good? Right and early. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's so flavorful. Oh, you can taste there's, there's actually quite a lot of spice in there. Mm -hmm. Take it from the inside. From under. That's how they eat, the locals eat here. With one hand. With one hand, just hold everything in one hand. Yeah. And, you keep and then just go it. right in. Yeah. Wow, that is so flavorful. Oh yeah, it's just got a nice spicy tomato, smooth potato fragrance. I love how we're chilling with the cows here. Cows are part of the ecosystem. Part of the ecosystem. <laughs> there he is. Coming for some food. He's coming, he's hungry. <laughs> he's hungry. He wants some jalebi. Next up, Anubhav brought us deeper into the lanes of Varanasi to try a special milk froth loved by the locals. We passed by a few on the way, but found one special one with a few different special flavors. What do we have here? Here we are going to have malayo. Malayo? Yeah. Oh, look and at the colors. Winter delicacy. Oh, yeah. So, so what is this here? This is just milk. Milk? Yeah, they whisk together milk, the buffalo milk. Okay. And uh, then the dew settles it down like the, the dew. What's on top of it here? It's like saffron, pistachios, almond, and some milk solids, you can say. Oh, it looks good. So there's a few flavors as well. This is like I've seen for the first time. They have a pineapple flavor, and then they have a strawberry flavor. So what should we try? We'll try the, the classic one. Okay. We go for classic. And also you, here, is, I've seen it interesting. They also serve the milk. So oh. like when you have a, when it melts, so you have a milk formed at the bottom. So on the bottom it's liquid. Liquid, so they collect that liquid and serve it in a clay glass. So it's over top of ice usually, right? It's, yeah, but here is unsurprisingly, there's no ice here. Okay. Otherwise everywhere you go to Delhi or Lucknow, they keep it over a brick yeah, of ice. Yeah, it's cold. It's cold. And it's in a clay cup. Clay cup. Saffron, pistachio. Oh, nice. The way of serving. This cool. is interesting, like no way I've seen the serving in the clay cup. Thank okay. you. So what's the orange stuff on top? It's saffron. Saffron? Yeah, they add the water of saffron. They soak it, the saffron in the water, then they add it. Oh, it looks That's great. It and it looks so frothy and creamy. Let's try it. Let's try it out. It's so light. Yeah. 
Mmm. Oh. That actually tastes a little bit like marmalade. Yeah. It's like, it looks like an orange flavor. Yeah. But it's the saffron. That's the saffron. Yeah. What size is it? Yeah. Nice. So that's how you finish it off. Yeah. You drink that milk. You drink it? Yeah, like that. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so sweet. And he's just loading it up here. Yeah, people he are getting it back for the family. Cool. Next up, to fill up a little bit more before a huge lunch feast, we went for another classic sweet and refreshing street drink, the Varanasi Lassi. Food everywhere. There really is. <laughs> yeah. And these, these alleyways are just so packed. Where are we going? Now we are going for a very famous Lassi shop. Okay. And we'll try different flavors of Lassi there. So you should try Lassi in every city in India? Yeah, wherever we go, like, mostly it's like you go to any old city in India. Like yeah. whether it's Mathura, Vrindavan, or uh, say Delhi, anywhere, like in old Delhi, anywhere you go, you must try the Lassi there. Okay. Every place has a different flavor. Okay. The milkman. The milkman. <laughs> it's just so crazy here. Okay, here we go. The Blue Lassie Shop. Oh, it's very blue. It's very blue, that's very blue. <laughs> yeah. That's so what do we have here? Fresh yogurt. Fresh yogurt, oh yeah, look at that. The fresh yogurt with a layer of cream on the top. Nice. So you put that into your jug. Yeah. You got sugar. Oh, lots of sugar. Lots of sugar. Then that's the saffron. Saffron water. Saffron water. It's a hand blender. Hand blended. <laughs> Otherwise, because if you just make it with the only with yogurt, it will become very thick. Oh, so you need to add the milk. milk. So it's milk and yogurt and saffron water. And sugar. And sugar. Yeah. Sounds good. Oh, and I just love the clay cups. It looks like mango, but it's saffron. Saff top with this. Oh, oh, so much of pistachios. That's a ton of pistachio. Ton of pistachio. Now it's mixed together again. It's oh, good, yeah. like you get a crunch of pistachios in all your sip, all throughout your lassi. Oh yeah, it's full of pistachio. Yeah. Perfect. <laughs> making, making one more. And then a layer of cream over the top. Oh, it's so elegant. Yeah. It's so beautiful. Oh, and then top it with more pistachio. And saffron water on top. It's just covered in those pistachios and that cream. They put cream on top, yeah, right? Yeah, there's a layer of cream on the top. Let's try it out. Oh, wow. It's so thick. It's so thick. Yeah. It's quite sour. Yeah. Sweet and sour. Sweet and sour. And the pistachio. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Good? That's good. Oh. Mmm. Oh, it's like a sweet, saffrony, slightly sour. It almost tastes just like yogurt. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a very traditional Indian flavor. Saffron, pistachios. Mmm. And you get a good smoky flavor also in the yogurt. Yeah. A little bit. Yeah. yeah. Next up, Anuba brought us to try a classic Varanasi style vegetarian lunch with wheat balls stuffed with paneer and cooked in cow dung. So, what are we getting for lunch? So, we are going for lunch at a very famous restaurant called Pati, Ch Pati Chokha. Okay. And there's a traditional dish of Varanasi. Classic Varanasi. It's all veg, right? All, all veg. Great. Let's try it out. Yeah. What are these? These are the dumplings I was telling you about. Dumplings? It's not exactly call it dumpling. We call it litti. In coal? In coal. In it's, ash? It's in ash. It's roasted in ash. Roasted in the ash? Yeah. And what are these made from? It's made up of a wheat flour. Okay. It's made up of wheat flour and it's stuffed with roasted chickpea flour. And then they add, in the roasted chickpea flour, they add some spices. And then they cook in, the, in this ash. Oh, that's so ash. unique. So these over. dumplings are all cooked in the cow dung here. Yeah, so cooked in cow dung cakes. That yeah. is unique. That's very unique. And they're over here cooking with cow dung. They're, yeah, so they're about like, to make some stews. Yeah, so they're making some lentils. They boil the lentils and the clay pots. There's a clay pot. They haven't, I think they're just boiling the water right now. They're just starting. They're starting. So they that is all. And they do it. So this is the holy cow dung. Holy cow dung. <laughs> Yeah, very cow dung. Great. In fact, in fact, in India, we clean our houses with cow dung cake. Really? Yeah, yeah, we clean our houses. So when you have like something for purity, when you have to make your house pure, you put some cow dung cakes on the floor. And then it's here. Yeah, yeah. Good. That's how it is. Cool, let's go try some out. Yeah. After a quick walk upstairs, 
Anubhav and I were sitting in a beautiful restaurant being served a huge spread of Varanasi delicacies. There was dal stew with cumin, coriander, and clarified butter, a green coriander and mint chutney, some mashed potatoes with eggplant, onion, tomatoes, coriander, and garlic, along with a tomato and onion chutney, and some pickled chili, a sweet lentil pudding, a rice pudding, and all served with buttermilk to drink. All this was incredibly delicious and flavorful, but the real treat was the dumplings cooked in cow dung. Okay, so you take the cow dung dumplings? Yes. <laughs> you take the cow dung, the cooked, yes. you take the cooked dumplings. Yeah, cooked dumplings. With cow dung. Yeah, in cow dung. You take the dumplings cooked in cow dung. Cow dung. Full of chickpea flour? There's a the chickpea, roasted chickpea flour. And then? And then you have the other one with cottage cheese. Oh, it looks like it's crispy. It looks like it's crispy. Uh, this one is with the roasted chickpea oh, flour. Oh, roasted chickpea flour. Oh, yeah, look at that. And then he's going to bring the ghee. Clarified the ghee. butter. Looks like clarified oh, butter. Oh, nice. Oh, fresh, warm ghee. Yeah. So that's the... Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot. So that's the chickpea flour. And this is the cottage cheese. And these are cooked in the cow dung. That's oh, the and cottage that's the cottage cheese. cheese. Look at that. Paneer. With some greens in there as well. Do we dip this in which one? No, we start with this one. This is a chokha, what we call chokha. So we can... Yeah, put it in the plate, some of this in the plate. Then you scoop it out like this. And then you just go right in. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It's like you're having a roasted stuffed whole wheat bun with paneer and a mustardy spicy kick yeah. from that sauce. And then they add ghee in it. It has a different flavor altogether. Mm. This meal was incredibly healthy and wholesome, and we both loved it. And for our next snack, Anuba brought us to try one of the most beloved street snacks in India, the pan. An addictive and mouth-freshening spice-packed betel leaf that includes tobacco, some dried fruits and spices, slaked lime, and a betel nut as a slight stimulant. The flavor and sensation is unlike anything else. And I ordered a sweet one without tobacco, and Anubhav went for the full real deal. What's next? We're going to have pan. Pan? Yeah. It's like if you have if you're in Banaras, you have to have pan. But there's a very famous Bollywood song of like a made of a pan. They say call it Thai ke pan banaras wala full jai ban akal ka tala. What does like, that mean? It says that when you eat the pan, it opens up your mind. Oh, it opens your mind. Oh, yeah. It's yeah. a slight stimulant, right? It's like a slight stimulant. So we're going to get two. There's a couple yeah. versions, right? Yeah, they have a sweet version and then second you get the tobacco. Okay, so this is a this is a beetle leaf, right? It's a beetle leaf. Then you add lime paste, then beetle nuts. Oh, yeah. And then you wrap it up. Yeah, you wrap it up. So there's the lime. That's The white is the lime paste, right? Lime paste. Tobacco? That's not tobacco, it's a sweetener. Like the, oh, the sweetener. Sweet and, and peppermint. And what's this one? This in Hindi we call it katha. Katha. Uh, katha. 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 Yeah. Tobacco paste. That's it's a very strong one. Very strong one. That'll get you. Yeah. That'll get you woken up. Oh, he's loving it. So this is the beetle leaf here, right? Yeah. And this is good for you? It's good for you. It's a good medicinal properties. If you just eat the leaves, it helps in digesting the food. Okay, and so it's a mouth pressure also people eat it. So the leaf is good for you, good for but you. the nut is slightly addictive. That is very addictive. Very mouth addictive. Very addictive. So you eat it, start eating it. <laughs> Got the lime paste in the white there. Yeah. What's that? There's a sweetener. Sweetener. He's yeah. putting a betel nut in there, right? Yeah. Oh, and what's he adding there? Cherry. And this is like a rose flavored. Uh, rose jam. Yeah, rose jam. You can call it like we call it gulkan. Oh. Oh, that's a lot. That's a lot. Sweet pan, sir. Sweet pan. And you're getting the real deal. I'm getting the real deal. <laughs> <laughs> oh. This is a saffron chutney. Saffron chutney. Beautiful. Oh. Taste it. Oh, taste. Okay. Taste it. The saffron chutney. Yeah. Oh, wow. Oh. Good. That's strong. <laughs> that's very nice. It almost tastes like an incense. Yeah, it tastes like an incense. <laughs> so do I swallow this? Yeah, you can swallow it. You swallow it and yeah. chew it, and yeah. you, but you don't swallow yours, right? I won't be swallowing because, because I it's tobacco. Tobacco. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. How you mango? Oh, wow. It's very strong. Yeah. That's mine. It tastes like a incense or a soap. It's like a perfume almost, mm -hmm. with the 
the chutney. The saffron chutney. How is the flavor? Oh, it's very minty and intense mm -hmm. and soapy. You got the real deal. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Oh, that's strong. So that'll wake you up. Yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Unique. Let's Unique. Try everything once. Try everything once, yeah. After that intense pan flavor, Anubhav and I made our way to experience the most incredible scene that unfolds before your eyes. The nightly Hindu rituals on the ghats in Varanasi. It is just so crazy here in Varanasi. The action. There's so many people. There's cows on the street. <laughs> That's a typical of India. Typical right? feel, right? Yeah, typical feel. And we are going to the pilgrimage location. Yeah, we are going to see the religious ceremony that happens every evening on this cart. And they're praying. They're praying. They pray to the Ganges. Great. So the so the cows are sacred in cows India. Cows are sacred in India. So people, the Hindus worship them. Is that right? Yeah, that's true. They worship can, them. And you can see them all over the street. And it from a you were saying from a tourist perspective, it's really <laughs> it's definitely interesting. My yeah. Cows, like, it's, it's, it's no big deal. <laughs> yeah. It's serene, it's it's incredible. Wow. So you can feel the spirituality here, like yeah. you come here. Yeah, you can. What are they all doing here? They're all are pilgrims, they're just offering the prayers. Okay. So what are they praying for? They're praying for the good health, the good life. Oh, it's just a Incredible. Incredible experience. Yeah, it's spiritual. Watching this fire ceremony on the riverside is a truly mesmerizing experience that you'll never forget. The combo of the wafting incense, the bells and the prayers, all of the chanting and the music happening at the same time is a memory that you'll cherish forever. We spent a solid two hours watching this ceremony before saying a final thank you and goodbye. That was an amazing time, Anuva. Thank you for taking me to all those amazing street food locations. Best time. Thank you to Delhi Food Walks for that experience. Anubhav and I have been good buddies for a while now and I just got to say if you want an awesome food walk experience, check out Delhi Food Walks. Thanks Thank a lot. Thank you so much. Yeah. I hope you had a great time. Thanks a lot. And I hope to see you again on the streets of India. For sure. Awesome. Thanks guys. Thank if you love this show and you want to help us out, head on over to buy some of our merch. You can sport your Thai howl of positive attitude and help us keep traveling and making content for you. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love to hear from you in the comments below, so please leave a comment.